Hello, this is Davide Biocchi speaking from Italy and uh, this is my uh, video for the incoming week uh, because we have a very, uh, a very interesting week in front of us. First of all, today is bank holiday both, on UK, both in UK and in the United States because of a Memorial Day. So today we will have, uh, uh, let me say, more thin volume not only on the uh, CME futures, but especially also on the uh, European stocks market, because all the people aggressively trading on the European market from the US or from London today will be busy and not working because they are spending their time in some holiday somewhere. So uh, because of that, we have a very clear situation in the market and we expect later today the market to be more flat. But for what concerning the DAX here, we have a very interesting situation because the DAX is very close to uh, try again for the, uh, uh, let me say, third time recently to overtake this resistance based on um, 11,100 and something points. Uh, and uh, if uh, it will be successful, we can expect the next target to be the closure of the gap that we can see here in the chart. So uh, regarding the DAX, uh, it's uh, really interesting to see that uh, this is a very uh, important uh, week in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, data because we have uh, we had the GDP today in US and also the IFO index. Tomorrow we have JFK consumer confidence really interesting but uh, later we have also some important data from us especially from uh, the uh, housing uh, housing price and then uh, new home sales and uh, very important in my opinion is also the consumer confidence that is really important because uh, this uh, crisis is uh, uh, really connected with the uh, specific uh, ability of the uh, people to buy things, you know, to buy specially good orders. And this will be a key point in the future of this big crisis. On Wednesday, we had uh, President Lagarde's, uh, President Lagarde's speech, uh, speech that will be really interesting. And then we have uh, the Fed Beige Book that will tell us more about the situation that we are uh, currently uh, uh, let me say, are currently in front of in the USA. USA. So again, we have a jobless claims uh, uh, on Thursday, and then we have the, uh, uh, let me say, second release of the GDP in the United States. And we expect, as it's seen here uh, on the annualized, uh, uh, on the annualized, uh, maybe a little uh, worse situation than it was before. Then we have also the very interesting uh, uh, indicator about the durable good orders that is re again really in interesting and really important. And in the afternoon we had the crude oil, uh, we had the crude oil inventory. So it's uh, really important, especially on Friday, to see that we have a lot of data from Japan, but especially we have retail sales in Germany. We have a GDP in Italy and also the uh, the CPI in Europe. And again, we have also the CPI in Italy and French. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we have the uh, uh, Chicago PMI in the US and the Michigan consumer sentiment. So all this data really will give a real contribute to the, uh, to the situation connected to the stocks market in general. So for those concerning other European indices, let's switch to the uh, Eurostock 50. That is uh, uh, really interesting because it's not as the DAX, but again, here we are very close to the resistance. We have another resistance here, very close to uh, 2,950, uh, 3,000. So this is the real resistance and we will see an acceleration in case the market will be able to overtake this limit. For those concerning the US situation, we can easily see that uh, uh, the Nasdaq is already in the process of the recovery. So it's, uh, uh, it's uh, already a clear V formation that we have here. And we are not so far from the previous uh, uh, top, from the previous uh, historical maximum that the Nasdaq seems to be able to reach uh, not so far. Uh, 
let me say it's it's really interesting even if we uh, have a look at the situation connected to the s p 500 uh it's not so far from the situation that we have in the um in the uh, uh euro stock 50 so we have a level here a base that is uh 2750 more or less around here okay and we have a limit here that is 2950 so this is uh, uh, 50 to, to 70. This is the resistance and we expect the market to be able to overtake it. In that case, the previous target, the next target will be 3,100. So it's really interesting the situation connected to the US market. But we have also in Europe some uh, uh, different indices like the Italian one that is more, uh, let me say, involved in an L formation instead of a V formation. And we have here a clear situation. We are more or less at the same level that we were in in March, in the very beginning after the reaction. So nothing special happened in this last two months. So the market up and down from this level, but we expect to have a possibility again to overtake this resistance and to move up here to the 18,000 points uh, to see if we have a chance also in Italy to overtake this uh, kind of resistance. For what uh, concerning other, uh, other uh, uh, asset classes, let's see that we have a crude oil, that uh, uh, we have a, a real uh, more uh, increasing volatility if we compare the uh, uh, crude oil situation on options. So it seems that we have an expectation that the market can come a little bit down uh, again. So let's see. Uh, let's remember that uh, the support is again around 28.5 dollars per barrel so it will be maybe also something interesting to see if the market will be able to come down a little and we have this week also another interesting situation based on gold because as we see the gold is remaining inside this uh, uh, box okay so we have a limit here that is uh, 1775 so something around 1000 sorry 1000 Six seven uh, seven five, so one thousand six hundred seventy five, and the upper level is one thousand seven hundred seventy five. So we are in between this box uh, uh, that is uh, more or less uh, um, one hundred dollar per uh, ounce. So it's really interesting. But another thing that is really interesting is the fact that this is the week of the rollover. So we will uh, see the rollover from the June contract to the. Uh, August contract and uh, even right now we have already uh, one fourth of a total contract uh, uh, already traded in the in the August one and we will see let me say these uh, numbers increasing uh, increasing for the uh, August contract within first day that will be uh, let me say the uh, and Friday that will be the expiry day for the June contract for the uh, transactions on the CME. So another interesting situation we have also on the we have also on the uh, euro dollar. If we go and see the uh, euro dollar, we can easily see that we are in the same kind of a, of a box. We have here a level of 1.0760 uh, more or less around this level, and we have here 1.0980 uh, very close to 1.10. So we can see that this is a, a, a sideway uh, where the market is really effective up and down from this level, up and down here, up and down. And it seems again we are uh, uh, going to see uh, 1.0760. So it seems obviously, but we will see an acceleration of this uh, uh, currency pair only the moment in the moment that we will see uh, the market up here or down here so let's let's say that uh, this is very good for trading but uh, uh, let's expect that in case the market will exit from here or there we will see an acceleration so be careful with your uh, stop losses uh, this is more or less uh, uh, more or less all for this week let's see what is going to happen and uh, see you soon Ciao ciao, bye bye from Davide Biocchi from Italy. Ciao.